Today, we're going to take a look at how to save stems out of FL Studio. Now, you might be wondering what a stem is if this terminology is new to you. A stem is essentially a single file that's saved out of a full song, and it'll usually just be one instrument. In FL Studio, this full song project that I have right here, you can see I have a kick, I have a snare, hats, and so on. Each one of these tracks in the playlist of my song for FL Studio is more or less a stem. It will be a stem. Now there are two ways to get stems out of FL Studio. One of them is manually, and the other way is to have FL Studio automatically generate the stems for an entire song. You're going to notice in this song of mine, I've taken the time to name the track in the playlist. I've also named the mixer channels. Now the mixer channels are going to be what the name of the stem file is. So this is extremely important that you name the mixer channels. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to save out just one stem manually. Before I do that and before we move on, just to be very clear, you'll notice that the pattern here for the kick associated with the drum pad is routed through channel one of the mixer and that of course is named kick. And that pattern follows for everything else in the song which is pretty standard not only for FL Studio but across all DAWs. All right, let's see how now to go ahead and export a single stem manually by ourselves. Generally, it will be something just like this, where we turn everything we don't want heard in the stem, we mute it, we turn it off, we turn that track off, and we'll just have the kick. So we could export just a kick stem like that. Sometimes you may want to combine a couple uh, if we had the keys and the melody, and for whatever reason we wanted those to just stay the same, there wasn't, we didn't need to make any adjustments later, or the mixing engineer didn't care. It could just be one file. We could do two. We'll do that here just to show you how. So you just get what you want to be heard in the stem, as you see it here, turned on, and not muted. Then you go to File export, wave, stems are going to be in wave format, and then you'll be prompted to name this stem. So we'll name this one keys. And generally I like to make a new folder called stems. So you just point at the folder, name it, save. You get this dialog now. And you're going to want to just leave this as is. Leave it to the defaults. The only one we're really concerned about right now is split mixer tracks. Make sure that's unchecked for saving just single stems. This is also known as bouncing stems or exporting. So let's just tell it to start. It's going to take a moment here. Depending on how much instrumentation you have going on in the song, what VSTs and what effects may have been used, it can take one minute and, you know, up to 10 potentially, depending on your CPU and other variables. All right, we're just about done. You'll get the FL Studio chime. And we have just exported that stem, which would be the keys and the melody. All right, that's one stem. Let's see the power now of FL Studio. And let's let it 
export everything for us all at once. So again, please let me uh, reiterate that we have everything routed to a channel, kick, snare, and so on. We have those channels named in the mixer as it's been routed. So again, file, export, wave, this time again let's point to the stems directory this name isn't quite as important as last name because the names of the stems are going to be the names of the mixer tracks whatever you put right here will be a prefix to the name i'm just going to leave it so you'll see what i'm talking about so target stems leave that name the same for exporting multiple say save Split mixer tracks should be checked this time, and it's going to go through now and save out every single mixer track. So let's get it started with start, and this again is going to be a variable length process depending upon your CPU, how much memory you have, how long the song is, how many instruments you have. Because this time, not only is it just exporting out maybe two tracks from the playlist and two, you know, mixer tracks, it's going to be exporting everything that's in the mixer track that basically is a major component of the song. And that usually translates to an individual instrument. So again, kick, snare, hi-hat, keys bass those are all very normal stem files it's rendering out the full length of the song too i should add all right so it's finished working and we're going to take a look at the files that ex that it exported next okay we see here my stems directory and if we look inside of it, we can see all of the files that were exported from FL Studio. We can see the first one that we did manually, and then we can see all the rest of them there. And you'll see how it prefixed with what we had for the song name.